recording just talk to me so what happened that time you went trapping I, I don't remember tell I was me that going story. on my trap line and I went in the woods and I started looking for places to put the traps and as I was walking through I stepped on a what evidently was an old well and the top boards on the top just broke and went down and if I didn't reach out and grab a hold and hang in, I would have went down in the well and nobody would have ever found me because they wouldn't know where I was. And I came out of there. I didn't even do any trapping in that area. <laughs> now, this was before you had your heart attack. Yeah, yeah. way before. Yeah. And yeah. then what happened when you, you had to shoot the bobcat? The bobcat? We were deer hunting up in the mountains, and I got up there, and I'm sitting down, and I see this bobcat coming through in the morning, and I watched when I was getting ready to shoot it, and I caught movement behind it, and it was a buck, so I let the bobcat go, and I shot the buck. It was Thanksgiving morning, I went back there, and... I got, I got back up in the same spot, and sure enough, here comes the hat through again. And I was going to shoot it, but my brother-in-law, Al, come walking up the mountain yelling like crazy and scared him away. So I didn't get a shot at him. And I'm sitting there, and then Ernie come by, and Ernie sat there with me, and we went for a walk around the mountains, and then came back in the evening, I sat there, and I'm waiting, and sure enough, here comes the cat through again. So, I mean, this is three times this cat come through here. He was destined to go down. And he stopped, and Ernie had his sights on him. I had my sights on him. And he was behind a stump, and we waited and waited and waited. And finally, he took a step out from behind a stump, and that's when I shot and got him. And brought him and had the, just had the head stuffed. I'll show you guys the head. And my dad has had... All the deer heads upstairs, are those yours, or? Huh? They're, they're all deers that I got, yeah. I'll show you the bobcat head yeah. and the deer heads that my dad has gotten and had stuffed as well. One thing I want to tell you guys, when my dad goes deer hunting, he doesn't hunt just for the sport. He does have the deer cut up, and they do have the venison. And I hunt for meat, mostly. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But while I'm hunting the meat, I look for something with good horns on it. <laughs> yeah, so that he can have it stuffed as a trophy. Yeah. So. And I love eating the venison the way that my dad or my mom, whoever cooks it, cooks it. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> my dad cooks dad it. Dad cooks it all the time. Or else uh, Karina come over and she'd cook. Yeah, yeah. But uh, as I butcher them up, Brendan and, and Sean were taking pieces of meat, running the house, throw them in a frying pan, flipping them and eat. <laughs> <laughs> the only one of us girls out of me, Karina, and Connie was Karina that ever picked up the hunting. Uh, Connie never did. Yeah, I never did either. No, you never did either. Just no. Karina. Yeah. So this is the bobcat my dad was telling you guys about in his story earlier. He did get the head mounted. And these are his deer heads. He got this one mounted. Kind of got a glare on it from the TV or from the lamp light there. Here's Crystal. Here's another one he got mounted. And another one. Okay, there's a few stories from when we were camping that my dad doesn't quite remember. So I'm going to tell him and see if he can fill in some of the blanks. So we were camping and 
there was a river behind the our trailer and I jumped in the river and the rapids were taking me down. Do you remember that? No, that one I don't remember. But... And then Karina had to jump in and save me. Grab hold of me. Grab hold of me. And yeah. the rocks were slippery, so it was like really taking us. And you thought you were going to have to jump in to save Karina and I both. <laughs> So. Yeah, it went down, down as it kept going down, then it got into a pool area where it was a little deeper and swimming, you know, fishing good. Right. But uh, it was that river that uh, we used to go all the way up, drive all the way up and get, get on the, uh, the raft and we'd take the raft down the river. Right, uh, right. And all the way back down to the campgrounds. Yep. That was... Uh, that was when we belonged to the KOA campgrounds uh, group, where we, no matter where you went in the state of KOA, and that's when we went to Cape Cod up there to KOA. And that was another one when it rained. <laughs> Folks in the night, we, we had the trailer then, uh, the pop up camper, I should say, and the water was running down and it's, Washed away our little footstool. Yeah, <laughs> to step Dang. up. Yeah. Do you remember climbing the sand dunes? Who? The sand dunes. Yep. Then we went over to the sand dunes. Well, you kids did a lot of that. I didn't do too, too much of that. I remember we had to pretty much pull mom all the way up the yeah. sand dunes. They were hard to climb. I was, I was young. I was real young. Yeah. And even for someone young like me. Sand is hard to walk in, and to climb an actual sand dune was hard. <laughs> kids, kids were going, kids were riding, sliding down the sand dunes on those uh, snow. The, the, the round snow yeah, the round boards, yeah. Things. Yeah. And they'd go up and slide down the sand dune on them. Yep. Yep. Then uh, me, I went. Uh, I was out on the pier doing some fishing while you were doing the sand dunes a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'd say out of all the places that we have gone camping when we were younger, because I loved it. I loved camping. I to this day I love camping, and we're going to be hitting Pinecrest with Melody and Ron Bon Jovi and the kids when we get when I get back at some point. Um, but I loved camping, and I would say when we went to Cape Cod, that was my favorite one. Even though I was so young and I don't remember a lot of it, I remember those parts of it. And camping kind of petered out because Mom gave it up. <laughs> yeah, Mom didn't want to, uh, didn't, didn't like the lifestyle of not having a hotel room. <laughs> So mom doesn't want to be on camera right now because she didn't do her makeup and hair and all of that kind of stuff. But we're going to get some stories from my mom later on today or tomorrow or something, hopefully. But um, I'm going to let my dad get some rest now. So I will catch you guys all a little later. Bye.